Hello. Drink coffee, save a dog. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Let's get some coffee then. Dos. Dos. Gracias. Gracias. Do you want some sugar? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Germany, Germany. and he's from England. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, so bright. But I can tell you I had a horrible night like literally no sleep or maybe like for half an hour It was really uncomfortable <laughs> God. Anyway, it's a new day and it looks beautiful so I'm happy about that I woke up at one point in the night and I was like And I seriously I was like my neck's broken I don't even know Yeah I'm glad that that is over Yeah, bring on a new day in Baja hey So here's what you get for breakfast You get as much coffee as you like, which is great. We've got a little apple juice each, and then basically a mix of eggs and ham. So we're just gonna have to try and take the ham out of it. There's beans, some bread, and some tortillas. So yeah, let's see what we can do with this. All right, the motorcycles have been called. So I'm on my way down to go and reunite with Bumblebee. Cool. There she is, Bumblebee! Safe and sound, hey? Here we go. We are into the daylight. Oh, yes. Here we are, we've hit land on the Baja Peninsula and it's a crazy beautiful sunny day, 25 degrees this morning as well, Woo! nice. And I'm riding in effectively pajamas, socks and sandals and a t-shirt which feels kind of nice but it's probably not all that safe. <laughs> but anyway I'm not going to go far, I'm just going to head over to here somewhere, park up and wait for little Lavi. I'm not going to wait because I'm a motorbike. Okay, so I think here I have to pay some sort of fees. I read that I had to pay a fee before I left the port. All right, so the port fees were 105 pesos, which is about five pounds. So not too bad. And now I think I have to get out of here, round to the entrance, and I think Lavi will be coming out there. Beautiful, look at that water. Wow, that's beautiful. Hola, buenas. Buenas. Uh, Suzuki, Suzuki. Yeah. yeah. JS1E. What is your name? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Perfecto. Okay. okay. Gracias. Whee. All right. Hola, buenas. What is it? Topolo Bambo. 
Gracias, gracias. Okay. Chao, chao. There we go, that was not too hard. Just showed my temporary import permit for Bumblebee to say that we're allowed to be here in Mexico. Well, that's basically it. Whoa, look at these pelicans on the boat. Amazing. Ah, aquí. So this looks like the entrance, so Lavi should be somewhere around here. Yes! We made it! Did you miss me? Of course I did. It was only 20 minutes, wasn't it? Was it? Did it feel like a lifetime? It did. Oh, sweet. I was worried about you already. Sweet. Oh. It's okay, I just had to sneak my way through all the military, knock a few people out. And then I got Bumblebee through. Great! I actually had to take a bus. What? Yeah, from the ferry to here. They dropped us off here. All right, let's get sweaty. Yes. Woo! Sweating already. All right, let's do it. Let's hit the road. I'm already sweaty. Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 384 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We have just arrived here on the Baja California Peninsula after crossing the Bay of California, the Sea of Cortez last night here in Mexico. Yeah, amazing. And the landscape looks so cool. You can see like cactuses everywhere. Yeah, this peninsula is supposed to be absolutely beautiful desert and hills, lots of cactuses and lots of beautiful riding ahead. Amazing. On our way up to the US of A. Woo! And look at the water. Oh my God. Beautiful. It's like, it's just beautiful here. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It's a totally different feel to where we left on the other side. Yeah, holiday destination here. But we are here much later than we expected to be. Uh, we thought we were going to arrive at 8 in the morning, but because it was so delayed last night, it's actually 11 now, which makes it a bit tight because let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here. And today we're going to be taking this road south to around here to visit something really special before turning back around, heading back to La Paz and then continuing our way north on this road here. Yes, before going up the Baja Peninsula on our way to the US, we thought we'd stop by at a super awesome place called the Cerritos Beach Dog Cafe in Los Cerritos. The GPS says it's about an hour and a half to get there. So we thought it was worth the detour to go and check this awesome place out. But I'll tell you guys more about this place and the work they are doing here a little bit later. For now, let's just cool down and uh, just enjoy the ride. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful, absolutely stunning here. Wow, oh, the place, hey, the water is so beautiful. And look at the hills, those cactuses on the hills. Amazing. Nice, wow. There's some big <laughs> cactuses there. Incredible. So cool. So cool. Wow.
So we seem to have lost the door of our GoPro just on the road a second ago. Oh, I see it, I see it. I see it. Please don't run our door over. Please don't run our door over. We were charging the battery. Oh, I'm gonna grab it. Okay. Yes. We were charging it on the back, which means you gotta have this door open to actually charge it. Favi was fiddling with it and it fell off. <laughs> okay, let's be careful with the sand. Yeah. So we've made it down to the Pacific side, the other side of the Baja California Peninsula. And man, the temperature has dropped. It's like 24 degrees on this side. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I'm almost a little bit too cold. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like it's dropped by 11 degrees since we were on the other side. Incredible. Now the Cerritos Beach Dog Cafe is actually a rescue center for stray dogs, a rescue and rehoming center. So what we're visiting today is their cafe and all the profits from this cafe go towards their work with the stray dogs of this area. Yes, so the coffee we will be having there, the money goes straight into the welfare for the doggies, which is really nice. This place was actually started by a team, including uh, another YouTube couple called Eamon and Beck. I saw an episode on their channel about setting up this place and so when we knew that we were coming across to La Paz uh, and coming on the Baja California Peninsula we thought we should definitely definitely make a detour to come down here support these guys support the work that they're doing here and uh, go and have a nice coffee <laughs> yeah and seeing some cute doggies but it is pretty tight for time because they're closing in literally 25 minutes and we've only just managed to get down here in time. Well, it's still a pretty epic place here. Certainly is. Los Cerritos. Ah, it's a beautiful place to be. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just oh. a couple of speed bumps. Oh, a nice little dachi there. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. The Pacific Ocean in the background. Amazing. Beautiful. Cerritos Beach Dogs. Coffee and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee and dogs. <laughs> I like it. Oh. <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're heading up to the USA yeah. um, uh, and Canada. And uh, we thought last week we were here, we would uh, come and stop by. Oh. Can you guys get a coffee? Yeah, yeah. Cool, thank you. <laughs> Somos eh, Cerritos Beach Dog, una fundación para el rescate y el cuidado de perros. We are a rescue and cafe located in Cerritos, Baja California, Sur Mexico. Um, and here we serve coffee, it's a complete nonprofit, and we also have dogs that you can adopt. And we have lovely Agustina here who takes care of all of our dogs, <laughs> and this place would not exist without her. Es un refugio de rescate que tanto hace falta acá en México, porque bueno, perros hay por todos lados y creo que es de lo que más se necesita, que es rescate, cuidado y adopción y sobre todo conciencia, educación a la gente para esterilización, vacunación y no abandono de, de animales. Así que si están por Baja California Sur, no se olviden de pasar, apoyarnos y seguirnos en las redes sociales también. Tomar un cafecito y jugar con perros. Drink Beautiful. Coffee, save a dog. Um, yeah. <laughs> Drink coffee, save a dog. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Dogs. The guys at Cerritos Beach Dogs are gonna put our sticker on the door of fame. Oh wow, yes. Woo. Look at that. That is beautiful. Gracias, thank you. Thank you awesome. <laughs> yeah. Look what the guys gave us. Some really cool, nice t shirts. We are kind of part of the team now. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Very nice coffee. Yeah, super tasty. And the guys working there and running the place are just so super friendly. They're so super friendly and welcoming. And they're just doing amazing stuff there. I just think it's so cool we could come down and just show our support. Yes, yes. You could really feel like their passion about their place and yeah, it was really cool. You guys are doing amazing work. You guys are amazing. But now it's time to head north, north, north because our next goal, our next destination is the border to the USA that we may or may not be able to cross. Fingers crossed. Oxo. They have <laughs> always really cheap fried beans for like under a pound. And then we bought some juice, some mango juice, some tortilla. So I prepared us a really nice tortilla with some avocado, cheese, some peppers and of course fried beans. But that looks like a tasty, tasty treat. We also decided to book a room in La Paz after such a bad sleep on the ferry, like literally almost no sleep. Uh, we just couldn't face going like much further today so yeah it'd be quite good to take a room for tonight and just recover a little bit and then we can hit the road like properly tomorrow. So we've made it back to La Paz pretty much where we started the day. We didn't make much progress but we did say hi to a lot of super cute little dogs. What more do you want? We found a hostel in town. It's pretty much the cheapest room we could find in town. It's uh, 23 pounds a night for a double room with a shared bathroom. Give us a good chance to rest. And then we can definitely make a good day of it tomorrow and really start exploring the Baja California Peninsula. Anyway, it should be just somewhere here. Oh, look at this beautiful whale mural. I don't even see a sign on that one. Um, Is it a hostel? Yeah? Oh, okay, this one. Okay. You don't like the camera, hey? You don't like the camera? You do like the camera. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy to live. And very tired, very exhausting. But this room here is so nice. It's nice and cool. The bed is really comfortable. So I think we have a promising good night. Yeah, this is definitely what we needed. <laughs> so we didn't make it too far today. Literally a few kilometers from where we came in on the ferry this morning. <laughs> but it was definitely worth it. It was really, really nice to head over to the guys at Cerritos Beach Dogs Cafe. And it's super cool that we can now represent them with our amazing t-shirts. Thanks so much, guys. That is so cool. <sighs> amazing. Yes, and the logo is really cute as well. Yeah, it's like a, a Mexican Day of the Dead themed dog. <laughs> it's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So now from La Paz we have three rides to make it to the US border and we're hoping to cross on the fourth day from tomorrow. But of course we still don't have our exemption letter from the Environmental Protection Agency so this is going to be a kind of go there and see if we can make it through kind of thing. Yes I am a little bit stressed at the moment. I can feel inside that I'm really not relaxed because of this letter. I just want the next four days to be over as quickly as possible that we can cross into America. So in four days we'll find out. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and if you really we really, really like our videos you can join us on patreon the link in the description below we will see you next time <coughs> yeah i'm not really fit to ride too far today that's for sure no oh, man